Paddling TV is brought to you by Neki Kayaks and the new RIP Recreational Kayak. A lively and playful kayak for beginner to intermediate flatwater paddlers. Check out the new RIP Kayak at NekiKayaks.com. Forward stroke is the most important stroke, for obvious reasons. And although any stroke that gets your kayak moving forward is fine, by learning correct technique, you can travel further and in more comfort. In its simplest form, the forward stroke involves planting a paddle blade at your toes and pulling it through the water to your hip, where that stroke ends and the next stroke begins. But we're going to look at the stroke in a bit more depth, which involves breaking it down into three parts. The catch, the rotation, and the recovery. The catch is the part of the stroke where you place your paddle blade in the water. Sitting up straight with a relaxed grip on your paddle, reach to your toes and plant your blade fully in the water. This reach shouldn't just involve your arms, it should involve your arms and shoulders. Reaching with your shoulders involves twisting your upper body at the waist. If I'm reaching for a stroke on my left, I'll push my left shoulder forward and rotate or wind up in my upper body to the right. This is commonly referred to as torso rotation and it gets your core muscles involved with your strokes instead of just your arms, which lets you get a lot more power for your stroke. With your body wound up, plant your blade in the water so that it's completely submerged. Once planted, you'll pull on your paddle and unwind your upper body to drive your boat forward. One of the most common mistakes is pulling on the forward stroke before your blade is fully planted in the water. This causes a lot of splashing and wastes energy. Imagine that you're planting your paddle in cement when you take a stroke. The paddle shouldn't really move anywhere once it's planted. Instead, you're pulling yourself past that paddle. The only way this will work is if you have fully and securely planted your whole blade in the water. Your body is like an elastic band in that once it's wound up, it has a lot of potential energy. Rotation refers to the way that you use that energy to put the power into your forward stroke. As we just looked at, your body should be wound up and your paddle firmly planted during the catch phase. You'll now pull on your paddle and drive your kayak forward using as much of your large torso muscles as possible. This will probably surprise you to hear, but your arms are actually just a supplement to the power that your torso rotation provides. If you don't believe it, try paddling with your arms locked straight. It may not be very comfortable to paddle like this, but you can really get your boat moving, and it forces you to use your torso rotation to power your boat. Now that you're using torso rotation, let's take a quick look at what the rest of your body will be doing. As you pull on your paddle blade, keep your elbows bent and low. The range of motion of your arms is actually quite small, since your torso will be doing the bulk of the work. As a general rule, the more vertical your paddle shaft is while taking a forward stroke, the more forward power you're getting from it. To get your paddle more vertical, you'll bring your top hand higher and further across your boat. These aggressive forward strokes are great strokes when you're in a hurry, but they're also very tiring. For general paddling purposes, you'll want to drop your top hand to shoulder or chest level. This less aggressive stroke is commonly referred to as a low angle touring stroke. Even though your upper body does the bulk of the work, your lower body can also be involved. What you can do is push with the foot that's on the same side that you're taking the stroke. Recovery is the point at which your forward stroke ends and the blade gets removed from the water. And this happens when your forward stroke reaches your hip. At that point, you'll simply slice your paddle up out of the water sideways and then get ready for the next stroke by rotating your torso and planting the other blade deeply in the water. Now that you have all the pieces for an efficient and powerful forward stroke, try to put them all together as smoothly as possible while keeping your boat as quiet as you can. A quiet boat has minimal bob from side to side or up and down, and it'll glide through the water most efficiently. On a final note, remember to keep your grip as light as possible. A tight grip will really tire out your arms and can lead to overuse injuries like tendonitis in your wrist and elbows.